Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian National Mathematical Olympiad for 10th graders, 2023 problem number 1. We wish to solve the following equation in real numbers. 2 times, in parentheses, 5 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals 7 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. So here are my hints for this problem. Fix x, real x, and consider the following function, f sub x of t, the main argument of this function is t, it's t to the power of x, where t is some positive number, differentiated twice over t to establish convexity. So say that our function is convex or concave. And finally, use Jensen's inequality to finish this problem. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. So as I suggested, let let fx sub t equals t to the power of x, where t is a positive number and x is some real number. We differentiate it twice. So we have the following f prime it's x times t to the power x minus 1. And if I differentiate it second time, I get x, x minus 1, t to the power x minus 2. And now it should be pretty easy to see that if, if x is between 0 and 1, then this part is negative, so our derivative is negative. Then f x double prime of t is less than zero for every for every real positive number t, which means that our function is strictly concave. And what happens? Uh, what happens if x is between minus infinity, zero, union, one, infinity. Well, then our second derivative is greater than or equal to zero. It's strictly greater than zero, sorry. For every positive t, which means f is strictly, strictly convex. convex. Okay, so now we know something, and now I suggest to take our original equation, and maybe let's recall Jensen's inequality. By Jensen's inequality, by Jensen's inequality, if I have two numbers, let's say uh, S and T, if they are positive numbers, different, then, then we have the following. fx of s plus t over 2, it's, uh, less, it's greater than fx of s plus fx of t over 2, if our function is concave. And it's concave if x is from 0 to 1. And moreover, fx of s plus t over 2 is strictly less than fx of s plus fx of t over 2 if x is convex. Very well. And now let's take our original equation and let's transform it a little bit. So we have 2 times 5 to the power of x plus, uh, let's take a look, plus 6 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals, equals 7 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. Okay, and now I wish to write it in the following way. 2 times 5 to the power of x plus 2 times 6 to the power of x equals 
3 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. And now let's notice that if if x is from 0 to 1, our function is concave, so then by Jensen's inequality, we have, for example, we have, for example, 5, uh, or rather, rather, let's take 3 and 7. So 3 plus 7 over 2 to the power of x is greater than 3 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x over 2, i.e., i.e., after multiplication by 2, 2 times 5 to the power of x is greater than 3 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x. And likewise, likewise, I can take 3 and 9. I.e. I.e. 2 times 6 to the power of x is strictly greater than 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. And after adding this together, which means that uh, 2 times 5 to the power of x plus 2 times 6 to the power of x is strictly greater than 3 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x. Contrary to our equation, because we actually want equality. So here, no solutions. No solutions x in this case. And now I will copy my reasoning for x between uh, minus infinity and zero union one infinity. So let me change what is necessary. So if x is minus infinity zero union one infinity, what then? Then we have exactly the same, but inequalities are reversed. We have exactly the same by Jensen's inequality. Again, <clears throat> no solutions. So only two numbers are left, 0 and 1. Well, if x equals 0, let's take a look, let's take our equation. Well, is it true? Well, on the left hand side we have 2 plus 2, it's 4, and here we have 1, 1, 1, 1. 4 equals 4. True. Is satisfied. Is satisfied. And what if x equals 1? Well, if x equals 1, let's take a look. If x equals 1, here we have uh, 10, here we have 12, so it's 12, I am right, am I right? I, I am probably. Here we have 3, 7, 3, 9 is the same. Here we had 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's again, it's satisfied. So all in all, we have only two solutions. The solutions x is either 0 or 1. And that closes our problem. Jensen's inequality, as you have seen, very useful, very often. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.